sharing the roads. CBS2 cameras captured this scene. A bicycle is partially in an intersection at the exact same spot where a cyclist died yesterday. Dorothy Tucker returned to the Mag Mile today to look at the impact of the tragedy and the reaction of those who share the road with cyclists. Dorothy. Well, the biking community is in mourning because of the fatal crash that happened on this corner yesterday. But some bike messengers who make their living delivering packages say the fatal crash will not change the way they operate. The traffic light is clearly red, but bike messenger Jake Bajinski blows right through it. If it's a red light, it's a lot easier for me just to go through the light. This casual attitude about going through red lights comes just one day after fellow bike messenger Blaine Klingenberg allegedly blew a red light and was fatally hit by a double-decker bus. I'm illegal. doing something illegal, but it's probably, it's probably safer for me to do that. If that, that doesn't make sense no, to you. No, it doesn't so. make any sense. So yeah. How is it running a red light safer for you? Because it's the flow of the street. But I'd rather see them before they see me, so I can maneuver my way through traffic. Have you ever had any near misses with a bicycle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Luxury limo driver Sheila Jones isn't just complaining about bike messengers. Her beef is with any biker who weaves in and out of traffic as she makes her way across the city. They're hard to see and they, I mean, they have bicycle lanes, but not all the streets have bicycle lanes. And if they cut in out or come off of you without you seeing them, it, it, it's potential hazard. People are going to make mistakes. Uh, those mistakes shouldn't be a death sentence. Jason Ray Jenkins promotes cycling in the city for the Action Transportation Alliance. Bikers, he says, are involved in some 1,500 crashes a year. According to the city, seven people died in bike incidents last year. This is the first fatality this year. We certainly encourage people to be cautious, follow the rules of the road, obey traffic signals. Now, police continue to investigate the crash. Meanwhile, the annual Bike to Work rally is tomorrow, where bike safety is always stressed. Reporting live from the Mag Mile, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Erica. All right, Dorothy, thank you.